vlog welcome back to another youtube video as you can probably tell i'm currently at home we're back back with another home vlog so i'm excited about this vlog it's gonna be kind of like a productive organization getting things back in order work um lots of meetings which i'm excited about i've been doing a ton of tennis content and i've been missing filming home content let me triple check that hi guys hi babe hi good morning good morning i tried on the sample that you had made yesterday and i really really love it perfect so uh, are we increasing the inseam page yeah that's what i was gonna say um I didn't see a big problem with it. Increasing it will open it up to taller girls a little bit more. So that small adjustment will allow taller girls to you know, wear them. Not that I want to complicate complicated. things, but you can order different inseams. Abercrombie on their site has different inseams. I think yes. as we expand as a denim company, because I really want denim to be the forefront of my company, you know, in a few years, I think that having different inseams on our site could be something we do in the future. But thank you for letting us know about that. That's definitely something yeah, exactly. we need to think about. So you okay, just got off the first call of the day. Now I have to do some selects for stuff I have to shoot. I'm um, gonna do some computer work and then gonna head to our warehouse facility and then pick up samples for new hats. A lot of the pieces that I've dropped recently are honestly more just like fun little momentum pieces for the big projects that we have launching. Um, you guys know about some of them and some of them um, I haven't announced yet. So you guys will have to stay tuned for what's to come because there's a lot of exciting stuff going on. In the car, ready to go. It's been a minute since I've been in the car. Okay, so we have one more load of phone cases to bring in, but this is the stuff that we have so far. And then here are the rest of them. Here is our new hat that I'm literally so excited about. I think I'm dropping these on Friday, so by the time this vlog comes out, I think they're already gonna be on the website. So I will leave the link to these in the bio. Okay, that was a quick little visit. lunch here at my parents. Ah, hi, Blue! <gasps> hi! Hi, Cindy! Hi, Cindy! Hi, little bee! Thurman, you want to say hi to the vlog? Hi! Ah! Thurman! Thurman's silly. My mom and I thought that we would just eat lunch here, which is easier. Um, and then I'm going to head back to my house and finish up the rest of the stuff that I have to do today before I go to the barn. Found this old Dairy Boy sweatshirt. I really like this font. I wanna make more like this. Okay guys, we are heading back to my house. I have a lot to do. As much as I would like to stay at my parents all day. Are you excited for the tournament? I actually am, I really am. That match that you lost in at Wimbledon, you played really well. You were starting to play really well on grass. Oh yeah, it was, for sure. I, I mean, not just on grass, like in general, you know, like sometimes you just kind of, it takes a while to get, get confidence going. And yeah. I feel like I started, I started getting it going there, and now I'm feeling good about not just in the floor, but going into... Uh, Hardcore. Yeah, going into hard, for sure, it's going to be really good. Yeah. It's pretty funny how in tennis that you can have a really good match, like play really fucking solid, and still lose. Oh, uh, yeah. It's so weird. It's, it's, because it's like, it's more about playing good at the right time than just playing good, you know? 
No, 100%. It's just wild. Are you having a good day? I am. Yeah, I just, just got to Riley's house. Okay, well, I love you. Alright, let me see you go back to the house. Yeah. Love you. My friend Lauren and I decided that we're gonna go riding and go swimming. There's a swimming hole on the property where the farm is, and we have been talking about going to the swimming hole for like months now, but it hasn't been hot enough and it's like 90 degrees today. So I'm really, really excited for that. My mom just passed me. <laughs> She's the slowest driver ever. <laughs> She's so funny. I just opened my package from Amazon and I got a bunch of these glass bottles. My friend Maggie that some of you guys might follow in a recent vlog made flavored water and she inspired me to get these. I used to have these and just fill them with water, so I might do some with water, some flavored water. They're also really good for green juices. Then I got this cute dish for Olivia, actually. It kind of reminded me of her, and I thought it would be cute on her desk. Got a new ring light, and then I got some Nespresso pods. Okay, guys, all done with my meetings for today. I'm getting tired, but I'm gonna go into my office now actually i'm going to finish organizing my kitchen now and then move into my office and do my pr packages so, and upstairs is like a whole other nightmare unpacking do we do that today is it nap time <laughs> yes is it nap time for you i think it might be <laughs> i feel like i can't nap because i'm supposed to be like going to the barn soon well, i wanted to go to the barn while it was hot because lauren and i were gonna go swimming in the swimming hole that's fine. You should go now. Okay, guys, change of plans. I'm not going to organize my house or anything today right now. Actually, maybe I'll do it when I get back. I just don't like things being unorganized. Mm -hmm. I think I'm going to go to the barn now and go swimming now while it's warm. Okay, guys, I'm going to get dressed. I'm going to bring a little bathing suit. And a towel. Do you want to come? Nope. <laughs> I want to go home. What are you going to do at home? Take a nap. <laughs> kind of jealous. I put on a bikini and a t-shirt and shorts and boots. I really want to bring a backpack because I want, so we're going to ride out to the swimming hole and I want to bring a drink and a towel. I need a backpack. I don't think I own a backpack. I've got to buy a backpack or like a saddle bag for my saddle. Okay, towels are secured. Okay. I love you so much. Thank you for everything today. Love you. Bye. Bye. Text me. Okay, guys, heading out to the barn. Have towels, have my bikini. Go now, on. call 844. I also just realized that I don't have a backpack. Like, I don't own a single backpack. So, I need to buy a backpack or a saddle bag for my saddle. Um, but I'm so excited to ride and to swim. Literally, my ideal afternoon. Good 
morning vlog. I just ate breakfast, made myself an iced coffee, and guys, since yesterday, my office has gotten progressively worse. I didn't get to organizing my office or organizing any of my house yesterday. I had a very busy day yesterday, but organizing was not a part of the busyness. It is 10.51. Olivia got here at nine. That's usually when she gets here in the morning. Um, Olivia and I did a few things and then she actually headed to our warehouse to get everything ready for the launch on Friday. And then she's gonna come back. But we do have a call any second now. Guys, it's only 10 and I already feel like I need a nap. Ugh. You know, I went to bed early last night. I had really weird dreams, but slept fine. I also made myself another English muffin because it was just too good. I could literally fall asleep right now. Hi. I texted her to add to the agenda. I mean, I basically just added every project. Liv, are you coming back here? when they met and then i just went through all the inventory that they brought over i don't see that we can miss it's going to go to weekly just okay. leading up to the pop-up you know yeah loose ends she'd love if you could join today because she's going to show furniture okay, like cool. actual rentals and stuff yeah no um, i'd love to be part of that meeting marketing meetings with shelby on thursday it should be on your calendar if you can just like pop in whenever you're i think available that would be great yeah um if it's not in your calendar, just let me know. Chatting with me in a little bit yet yesterday, and she was like, maybe we should do bi-weekly meetings with their team okay. for all the projects. I just laid down for a second. I wasn't feeling very good. Sometimes coffee makes me feel like shit. Like, once in a while. <laughs> I turned the dining room into this little studio. We don't eat in here ever. Okay, I think I'm gonna marinate chicken. How long are you gonna let it marinate for? You're gonna want to eat something else probably. It's That's bad. That, that was more what I was going for. Yeah. Perfect. Wait, I want to get some of those. Makeup are great. Really? It's like really nice, natural, but like. Thank you. I honestly like the Tan Lux Glow Drops better than. Oh, I just got them. I haven't tried them yet. I like them better than Drunk Elephants. I'm not really into drunk elephants these days. Really? So I'm gonna do a little um, grilled chicken marinade. I'll show you guys, but I feel like you know already how I do it. Okay, so I do like a version of the same marinade for my grilled chicken every time. I always have like an acid base. I put some olive oil, Dijon, and then something sweet, whether that's maple syrup, honey, just sugar cane agave um, and then a garlic. Taking a little break in the living room 
our photographer Matt who shoots our e-commerce stuff just left so got that done then had a meeting for our pop-up so this is the reality of my closet right now really scary I uh, yeah so gonna do that now Okay guys, the closet is all unpacked and organized for the most part. I'm very happy about this. I have to move this rack. This rack actually doesn't live in here, so figuring that out, but. You guys know I love car chats. I actually feel like I'm more comfortable talking to the camera in the car, but in the summer, I literally have to have, you have to have the, oh, the AC on, so it makes it hard. Okay, enough. Anyways, hi guys. I am running to the market right now. I'm just gonna get the rest of the stuff that I need for dinner. So I really want or wanted to find an Argentinian butcher, but no one had any chorizo. But apparently, Stop and Shop has some. It's definitely probably not authentic and it's probably not going to be super bomb but i am violently craving chorizo so i'm just gonna make it work and i want to grill tonight I'm going to grill that chicken that you guys saw me make I'm gonna make chorizo and then i think i'm gonna make a seasoned rice it's kind of a mexican inspired rice i just flavor it with a lot of seasonings and with like a tomato pure tomato sauce. I add carrots and peas, broth, but I really just use like bouillon. Um, it's like a yummy, flavorful, kind of like tomato-y rice. So I think that's what we're gonna do tonight. I just like really want grilled meat, so that's gonna be the main character tonight. Olivia did say that she wanted a salad, um, but yeah, I'm just gonna run in. I'm just going to stop and shop. Okay, I literally didn't get one thing that I needed but got a lot of other shit. They didn't really have the sausage that I wanted. I'm not surprised, but I got a few things to try, so we will see. I am currently wearing a Dairy Boy US Open um, pop-up shirt on backwards because I want to keep the graphic a surprise. I needed a t-shirt because I was getting hot. Okay, so I decided that I wanted to make a um, feta tomato lemon Salad this dinner is really really random. It's become very random. I'm gonna have these Tomatoes that are fresh from that place that market I went to the other day and tomatoes are in season so so I've been eating so much salad this summer If you follow me on anything you probably Know that but I want to like switch it up tonight because I've been using like the same dressing with the same bib lettuce and it's so good, but I had feta in the fridge. I hope it's still good. I feel like it probably doesn't look bad for a long time. But I had feta and I had these tomatoes and I bought cucumbers. So I thought I would make Greek salad situation. So we're having Mexican rice, a Greek salad, my chicken, my grilled chicken, and then random sausages. I love my Greek salads with very like thinly sliced, onions for so long i wondered why i could never make like a good greek salad at home like no matter what i did it just never tasted as good the trick is honestly how you're cutting your vegetables like that makes actually a difference in the taste and also keeping the dressing super simple very very simple literally olive oil lemon salt and pepper whenever i would add too much vinegar or just too much dressing i feel like it just completely took away from the salad i also like adding a little bit of oregano in the salad i'm really excited about this to be honest 
there's nothing like a really bomb Greek salad. My rice is smelling so good. Another trick to rice is you don't want to over stir rice. I think anyone who like knows how to make rice knows that, but if you're gonna stir it, just like fluff out the edges. Gently. Don't touch the rice too much. Okay, this is what we're looking like. Now, Persian cucumbers, another very important part to this is don't use English cucumbers for a Greek salad. Persian cucumbers are so much sweeter and they're just better for salads. I grew up only using English cucumbers. I didn't ever have Persian cucumbers in the house. And then I actually became best friends with an Israeli family while I was living in New York. And they only used these and I never went back. I also feel like a lot of people cook with these now. This is just my opinion, but take it as you will. I think when making a Greek salad or using feta, please buy block feta and then please buy authentic Greek feta. It's so much better guys. The crumbled feta from like Stop and Shop that's pre-crumbled is just not the same. So I kind of like roughly chop the feta into little cubes. Okay, gonna do a bit of olive oil and some lemon juice. I'm debating on actually not using pepper today, but I'm gonna taste this and see. And then oregano, I don't think I'm gonna do pepper. So good. are currently on the way to a launch event for my friend Paloma's brand. Her brand is called Paloma Bella and she's launching some pieces. I'm so proud of her. She is a content creator but she's really like a creative. Um, she has like amazing style on top of just being a very sweet good friend. So Olivia and I had a very busy morning. Hi Olivia. <laughs> Olivia and I had a very busy morning but we rallied um, to go support her brand. You're proud of her, I'm proud of you. I know, it was looking bad for me. It was looking really, really bad, but I had a Celsius and figured it out. Oh, that's what. Mm-hmm. Celsius, non-sponsored, but Celsius. Is this the new flavor? Strawberry lemonade. Hmm. And rye mint water. supposed to really well be. Day. My angel little boyfriend got me flowers and a big smoothie. I've literally lost my voice and we just launched and I need to run downstairs and look at the computer. Live what how many sales? In three minutes. 170 sales in three minutes. 104 first time customers, which is like really cool. That is cool. Olivia, how are you feeling this morning? Well, guys, I've been better. I've been better. This smoothie is hitting Are different. Guys, the drop is going so well. Tommy was such a real one for ordering me this smoothie. Do you want some of it? Yeah, Tommy start <laughs> ordering double if he does anything around here. <laughs> I saw the guy who Tommy needs to like, order two flowers. <laughs> no, 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 no. Watching the flowers this morning was a big kick to the guy. <laughs> he called her his little acorn. He did? You don't read the note? I haven't read the note yet. He goes, I love you, my little acorn. No, he didn't. Oh, I'm crying. He's no, like crying. Guys, Nance came and saved the day. Ooh. Yeah. Wait, this is yours, love. Okay. Give me the blankie. <laughs> hey. We are going to watch um, the Wimbledon semifinal. Hi guys, I have taken a little nap. That was much needed. Just clean up the kitchen, did some dishes, 
and now we're gonna head to the market want to make like a pasta tonight for dinner I'm still feeling hungover but want to make a pasta tonight for dinner and I also want to get food for when Tommy gets here he's coming tomorrow now so I like cooking for him as much as I can when he's here so I'm gonna get a bunch of stuff so I think we're gonna head to Whole Foods but wait before I go actually wait is my camera I went to Ulta yesterday and got some stuff so before I put it away I wanted to show you guys what I got got a new Maybelline BB cream in a more tan shade the hourglass foundation I've never tried it I know a lot of people really love it really excited about this the Mac pro longwear paint pot I used to use this like back in the day but I wanted a brown got a new benefit um, brow precision pencil I go back and forth buying this and the Anastasia but honestly this one is better the spoolie is better and it's a better pencil it's like much thinner I get the shade 3.5 so I got some more self tanner I kind of rotate between different self tanners um, Coco and Eve is really good San Tropez sucks ass tan Lux is good tanologist is really good um, kind of depends they all really have different shades got this real techniques makeup brush and then i actually got some stuff in a pr package from charlotte tilbury so i just brought it up from downstairs i actually wore one of it on my eyes last night oyster pearl it's like a shimmery brown rose gold eyeshadow and then they sent these lip elixirs and then they sent nude face palette pretty and that is all i just wanted to show you guys yeah, guys. yeah keep that over there <laughs> Olivia and I need to touch grass today. <laughs>